Okay, so the third type of stationary point, we've got maximum, we've got minimum, we can also have something which is called a point of inflection. Now, we actually came across points of inflection when we were doing graph sketching in chapter four. So I just wanted to remind you of what a point of inflection is. A point of inflection is where the curve changes from convex to concave or vice versa. So this particular part of the graph here, we do this more in year two, this is where it is concave, and this is where it is convex at this particular point. This point of inflection, also happens to have a bit in the middle where the gradient is actually flat, where it is zero. So this is where the curve is changing from, sorry, the line curves in one direction before the point of inflection, and then it curves in the other direction afterwards. So it's coming like this, it then goes to flat at this point here, and it then comes upwards. So when you think about the three kinds of ones we've got, we've got a maximum point, which was like this, a minimum point which was like this and now we've got a, a point of inflection where it has a flat point in the middle in fact I'm going to draw that one just to make it look really flat in the middle to make it clear what's happened there is a flat point in that middle bit as a bit of a side note because this is going to come into some of your year two work it says that not all points of inflection are stationary points it has to have a flat bit and you can see this in the example on the right here even though it is um, changing its direction, it's going from this concave shape to this convex shape over here, even though there is a point of inflection in the middle, you can clearly see that at that point there, it is not flat. It's got a gradient, which is positive. So this is a point of inflection, but it is not a stationary point. Stationary points of inflection must have a bit in the middle that almost looks flat like these two that I've got in the diagram. This, this type of point of inflection is not a stationary one. So if we wanted to be really specific about our language, a point of inflection, which is a stationary point, is known as a saddle point. So this one that I've actually got here, if we were gonna get really technical about it, is a saddle point because it has a zero gradient. This one here is not a saddle point. What we're going to do in the next video is we're going to see how we can tell the difference between maximum, minimum and points of inflection.